Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian! Welcome everybody. Uh, today we've got a bunch of different things that we're going to open up. Um, something a little bit different. I've got a mystery box. Uh, I've got three mystery minis and an interesting find that I just purchased from Amazon. So we'll talk about each one of those. Um, but before we get started, since we're opening a mystery box and I've sort of created a bit of a tradition for myself, I'm going to see my luck in this uh, plastic uh, empire box and I'm going to try my luck at Bean Boozle, okay? Uh, I've been two for two. One time I had uh, good luck, I tasted something good, and I had good luck in the box. One time, not so much, and I tasted a bar-flavored one, which was very unpleasant. So I'm going to try again and just sort of ch check my luck here. All right, see what we got here. We've got a... Um, looks like we got a another marshmallow or stink bug. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what I... I think I tried a uh, stink bug one. I think this is it right here. All right, so let's give it a whirl, see what it tastes like. Okay, well, didn't take long that time. Stink bug. Oh, God. Have you ever been talking outside or yelling outside and a bug flies in your throat? I'm, I wish I was in that circumstance right now. This is way worse than that. that is, it smells, too. Has a smell. Ugh, that is so disgusting. Anyway, all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open a couple of our boxes. This we're going to open this one first. I purchased this at Amazon. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise, and we'll see what it is and why we did it. And ugh, that that taste is really disgusting. All right. We'll feel around in here and see what we ended up with. All right. All right. You ready? You hear that? What is that? Sounds like a hard stack. What's in it? Hold on a second. Ah, nothing. I just bought a hard stack. Um, I actually uh, purchased this because uh, a couple weeks ago I won a Wolverine um, from a mystery box. Uh, it was my Smy World box, I believe. And I needed wanted a hard stack for it. So I invested in a hard stack and I just sort of recommend for people um, if you have um, some really nice pops and you don't, you know, you want to protect them to invest in a hard stack. It, it is like $9 on Amazon, so it's not cheap. There may be other places to get it cheaper. If you know some other places to get hard stacks or some of this stuff a little bit cheaper, uh, let me know because there is a couple others I want to try to get. But I, I sort of anything over $100 I want to try to get in a hard stack. So, um, but yeah, this was a really cool pop. So I'm just going to stick this in that. I won't do it on video, but I just wanted everyone to sort of see that I'm trying to protect my pops and I recommend trying to do that. Um, usually when you get a really nice one, they'll come in a hard stack, but that's not always the case. So, um, try to invest in those if you can. Okay. All right. That's that. Our next item is an Amazon box and the winner for the worst smashed box I have ever seen is Amazon. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always complaining about box damage and blah, 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 but this is ridiculous. You can see it looks like seriously, it either got caught in the door or it somebody fell down and sat on it or got caught in between two people that were arm wrestling. I don't know what happened here, but it's crazy. If this was a Funko Pop, I would have been very annoyed. It is not. It's my mystery minis. And one of the things that I thought was sort of interesting, I'm lined up my little mystery minis here. I've opened three, only three ever. And a couple of videos back, I got sent a gift for some mystery minis and they're sitting right here. All three of them were big boys, okay? So three for three on big boys. So I ordered three more ad icon ones, and I'm gonna see if I can get a set of six big boys, okay? That's, at this particular point, I'm hoping to get a full set just to see how bad my luck can really be on this thing. So we'll see. Um, there are some other really cool ones too, of course, but I just thought that'd be sort of interesting. Um, so yeah, the boxes inside, as you can imagine, are, are really banged up, but the box damage doesn't really matter on these. They're just, you know. All right, so we got three of those. They're pretty cool. I've seen a lot of people open mystery minis, um, and some of them are really cool, and some of them maybe is you know not really my thing. But um, I'm going to try to not expand too far into them. They're they're reasonably priced, but they're about six dollars a piece. You might be able to find them a little cheaper some other places, but on Amazon they're about six dollars a piece. So I just stuck with that. So I'll open my first one here. All right. What's, what's the thought? Another another big boy? 
Can we get four? Can we get four big boys? That's the, uh, that's what I want to... I don't know. This might be something different. It feels a little different. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Big boy, no. Oh, how about that? We got a Lucky Charms. Ah, me Lucky Charms. That's cool. Yeah, he's a cool one. He's got some really good detail. Yeah, Lucky Charms. Hmm, interesting. All right, maybe I'll get three Lucky Charms this time. What do you think about that? Yeah. There's there's quite a few um, the choices that you can pick. Some of them are, um, you know, like one in two chance. One in, I mean, one in six chance. All right, let me see if I can check my... So one in six was was big boy. Um, another one in um, six was well. There's a bunch of different numbers on here. I, they're, my eyesight's shot. So, but yeah, there are different odds on getting different things. So, all right. Let's see what else we got. Okay. So we'll see if we can pull out. Ooh! Ha ha ha! Two lucky charms. What do you think? Can we go three for three? Three for three on lucky charms. I'm going to get sets of three. I'm just going to keep buying and have a full sets of three. I'll just have to buy a hundred or a thousand of these things to make that happen. I've never seen, you know, people can pull doubles. It happens a lot, but to get, <laughs> to get this money of the same is just, it's interesting. So, all right, well, last one, last chance for something decent. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we got somebody different. Who did we get this time? Bazooka Joe! We got Bazooka Joe. I was never much of a gum chewer, um, but yeah, he's cool. He's a, he's a pretty cool one, so Bazooka Joe. Okay, so we got some, some cool little minis. So I'll sort of set them up. I've got some extras here, as I showed. Um, you know, maybe at some point when I um, uh, send out some things, maybe I'll, I'll throw these in, a couple of these into somebody's box for them, okay? All right, so our last item for today is Plastic Empire, okay? It is a, a virtual con... Uh, a Funko Pop and Mystery Box. And so it's from the, the virtual con that's re recently come out. A lot of people are opening these virtual uh, con boxes and things like that. And um, this is my this will be my first one. I haven't really invested in them. Some of them are kind of cool, but I'm not really into like sticker collecting. You know, people want the those type of things. Um, and I didn't see anything that really jumped out at me. Some of them were okay. But um, so we'll see what we get in this one. Um, and see, it's going to either be an exclusive, a vaulted, or a chase of, you know, one of these con things, okay? I've never bought from Plastic Empire before, so this will be a real uh, interesting situation, okay? So it was $20 and about $7.50 shipping, okay? So see how it comes out. All right. Ooh, we got two. We got two Funkos in here. Two Funkos. All right, so they're both in sorters. Go ahead and do this. So I'll just open one. I don't know which one will be what and etc. But we'll see if we can figure out what we got and we'll go from there. All right, we got an Ash from Overwatch, an Overwatch pop. Not much of a gamer pop collector. Uh, I don't. Really, I've never really played Ash. It is a Funko uh, limited edition uh, from the Funko Shop. So Ash, yeah. If anybody knows about. Overwatch. Yeah, it's okay. All right, and we'll come back and um, we'll check the values on these. And that one doesn't probably have any value. It's probably just a $8 pop or whatever. All right, let's see what else we got. Ooh, we got another one, Fallout. Um, this is Adamantium Skeleton. Um, so yeah, an another gamer pop. And this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, so yeah. We'll go ahead and check the values and come on back. Again, I don't think these have any more than $8 value, but I could be, I could be way off. We'll, we'll check those and come on back. All right, welcome back. Um, so sort of interesting. Um, I did some looking up on our prices here, and I don't really know too much about this either of these games. Um, and a lot of the gamer pops I've collected aren't really worth any. I'm not really collected. I've gotten out of these mystery boxes. Um, so we'll just go through. Uh, the first one is Adamantium Skeleton. He is the Hot Topic Limited Exclusive, and he was $15. That's sort of surprising. I was really surprised. Um, yeah, they said, I guess he was a limited edition, and yeah, well, $15. All right, the next one is Ash uh, from Overwatch, and I haven't really, I've gotten an Overwatch pop out of uh, another box before, I believe, and it really was worth, like, nothing. Um, and this one, I was super surprised. It is a Funko Shop 
limited edition. Um, sometimes just lim being limited, you know, be uh, it's worth nineteen dollars. Okay, so about double what I thought it was worth. So together they're worth thirty-four dollars. Okay, so is this a win? Is value-wise, I paid twenty dollars for the box, seven dollars for shipping. So value-wise, I guess it is a win. But I got to be honest with you, I still think it's a loss. I ate that stink bug, and it still stinks. And I don't know. I just don't like these kind of pops. So I guess it's kind of half and half on this. I mean, let me know if you think it's a win or not. I, I honestly don't think it was. I would rather have ones that are a little less valuable and that are just something that I like rather than these. So yeah, um, th these are not my favorite. I'll probably, you know, figure something else, what to do with these, etc. cetera. But um, yeah, but thank you for coming to my video. Um, please subscribe and please check out, please check out the rest of my other videos and, and come on back. And we got a lot of good stuff coming up and uh, thank you for watching. Good, goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian.